Hi, my name's Chris. I'm from the Spy Camera CCTV team. Uh, today we're going to be looking at our, our Wi-Fi bridges. Uh, now, these bridges are sold with our farming systems. So whether you've got a pan tilt zoom camera or a static camera, um, you'll probably have some of these. Um, we also sometimes include them with uh, DVR packages or NVR packages where you have a camera remote to the building. So if that suits, if that's you, um, then carry on watching. And what we're going to do first of all is look at how we set up uh, bridges that have already been prepared for you. Um, now that's where the team have actually asked you whether you're on a Virgin or a BT internet connection or another internet connection. Um, you'll know if you've got prepared uh, bridges because they'll have little dots on. Um, but if you remember that conversation, the video is just going to talk you through how you set these up. Uh, so first of all, I'm just going to open the box. In here, first of all, we've got the bridge. Uh, the bridge itself works on 5.8 gigahertz. Um, that may or may not mean anything to you. Uh, the, the main thing you need to remember is that they will only really work if they're facing each other uh, with nothing in between. Now, what that means is like no trees, no bushes, no buildings. Um, as soon as you put anything in between these, the 5.8 gigahertz um, transmission will be affected. So you'll, you'll get what's called packet loss and data loss, and so it will give you a jumpy picture. Um, so the very, very best, and the only way we can guarantee that these will work is when they're facing each other with a clear line of sight. Now, they will go up to a couple of kilometers, um, providing you've got that line of sight. Obviously, once you get further away, it gets a bit more tricky as to get them specifically pointing at each other. That's the bridge. Uh, in here as well, so I'm just going to take the packaging out so it's easier to get into. We've got two uh, uh, clips which allow you to connect the bridge to a pole. Um, and you can see here and here um, and here you've got like a pole shape so that you can clip onto the pole. Um, we've also got some instructions and a warranty card and some setup guys. Um, now we won't be looking at those today because we've basically, these are prepared units. Uh, so essentially what we're going to do is just turn them on, show you how to check that they're working uh, before you go and install everything. So we're just going to open up the bridge first of all. Uh, so on the base here you have uh, the click, so we'll just click that and that will take the little base plate off the bridge. Um, and on the base here we've got uh, the LAN port on the right hand side. That's the one that goes off either to, uh, it goes off to your camera. Um, and you've got the WAN which goes off into the, the data port and where you put your power in. And we'll wire that up for you in just a moment. Um, the one in the middle is the reset button. Towards the end of this video, I'll show you uh, what that's for. Now, you won't need to press this if you've got prepared uh, panels because they're already prepared for you, so you don't need to reset them. Don't press that because you'll have to go through the setup again. And finally, on the right hand side here, you've got a little switch that enables either PoE or not PoE. Um, so what that means is when you're wiring the camera into the LAN port, if you want the camera to actually power off the bridge itself, uh, you switch that, um, it is to the right hand side I believe, to turn it on and that will enable you to power the camera straight off the bridge. Okay, so let's just start wiring this one up. Uh, we're gonna do the, the camera end first. So we're gonna get our camera. Um, and if you've got a farming package, this will be familiar to you, but any camera that is PoE, this one is a PoE camera. Um, some cameras are not. Uh, what PoE stands for is power over ethernet. So essentially it ga gains its power across the data cable. Some of our farming cameras are not PoE and therefore you'll have a separate uh, 12 volt power supply and possibly an extension need if you wish to power that camera. Uh, but for today's purpose of setting up the bridges, uh, we're gonna pretend that they're PoE. Um, so first up, I've got my yellow lead, and I'm going to plug that into here, and here I'm just going to switch it across to PoE mode, okay, and then secondly, I've got a variety of colours for us to enjoy today, uh, second lead is this one, so that goes into the WAN, okay, and that's where we're going to do what's called, uh, uh, we're going to inject power down that lead, okay? So, in the box that we had earlier, uh, in the little box that came in, we've got a PoE injector. Now, essentially what this does is uh, it takes uh, power from a socket and then it injects power into the block. 
um, and then that then goes up the up the lead to the to the to the bridge. So if you've got this on an outside wall, you'd have this inside next to maybe um, uh, next to a power socket, and then you send the, the data up. You send the power and the data to and fro through this. So we're going to just plug that into the PoE. And then next up, we need the power supply. And we've set everything up here. This should start to boot up. Okie dokie. So we've just got some lights on the side. They do take a few moments just to boot up. You'll see it's starting to flash there. So that's the camera side. Um, and that's all we need to do on the camera side. That's now booting up. Um, we'll leave it to do its thing. Now, obviously, you'd put that on. You'd put the base plate back on, but again, that's going to take me too long to say. So I'm just going to leave that to the side for the moment. We then grab the second bridge, um, and again, we're going to pop off the base of this one. Let's put that this side, and once again, we're going to go. Uh, so from here we've got to go to the power, so we're going to do one first, and get the other power block. And we're just going to put that one into the PoE, so again if you can see that, we're going into PoE. Now that will start to boot up the, the unit there, okay. Um, and then from there, uh, we're going to then plug the system into a computer just to check that everything is going to talk to each other. Now I've already prepared this, I've got my uh, laptop set up here, um, I've already got a lead inserted, so we're going to bring that lead into the uh, base of the bridge. Um, equally, we could go into the LAN port on the PUE switch as well, it doesn't actually matter, so if it's more convenient now, what we would say at this point is we do recommend that you do this on your kitchen table or in your study first. Don't go and stick the bridges in place and then boot it all up and expect it all to work. We're just going to crack on and do it this way. Okay, so just, just let those boot up. Uh, so these need about uh, somewhere between sort of 15 and 30 seconds to boot up um, for them to start to communicate with each, with each other. When you first turn them on, they sort of, they're just sort of looking for each other and looking to then rejoin. But because they've been prepared, they will do that eventually. Um, another thing we find with these bridges, they do when you first boot them up uh, for at least the first 10 to 15 minutes, once you put them in place, they do need time to settle. So initially when you first turn them on, uh, you won't get uh, the data speeds that you will sort of 15, 20 minutes later when everything's kind of settled down and it's worked out where its partner is in the, in the setup. So just to run through this again, we've got camera, which is powered through the bridge, through the, uh, through the, the, the LAN connection, and we switch the switch on the right here just to, so that it was on PoE, uh, and that's to the bottom. Um, we've then got the power in from the PoE injector split in the PoE injector, and that's going in through there. So what essentially we've plugged it in, this is taking power through this unit, up the data cable, up to the panel that will be on the outside of your building, uh, from there, that's then facing the second panel, which is now back at your house. Um, and once again here, we've got power going in via the uh, injector. Um, now incidentally, if you had a second camera, you could in fact plug a second camera in through the LAN port here. Um, and if you've got three cameras, you would then need to talk to one of our sales team and they'll advise you about how to include a switch in the setup as well. But there's lots of different ways that you can set these up. Today we're really focusing on a single camera setup. Now from there, uh, from the, uh, sorry, that's from the LAN port out, did we just check? Yep. So from the LAN port on the receiver side, uh, we strongly advise that the lead from that goes straight to a computer. So if you've got a desktop, desktop PC or a laptop, um, just remove any internet connections that you've got going in there. Um, and then just, um, like I've done here, I've just run the LAN cable straight into the back of the laptop. If you've got a PC, just pop it in the back of the PC. The reason for doing that is because we're going to directly log into the panel, um, just check it's communicating fine, um, and then we know the system's up and running. So first up, we go to your, uh, your Explorer or your uh, internet browser. Now, we've even got Internet Explorer on this machine, 
Um, but normally speaking, it works fine just through uh, Firefox or through uh, Chrome as well. And once we go in, uh, we're going to type in the address of the uh, of the panel. But we've preset these to 192.168.1.200, and the other one is 201. Uh, so they've both got different IP addresses. Now once we click on that, we should get to a login screen. Now if at this point you get to arrive at this page and it's in Chinese, um, then you'll need to just go to this world and select English. Um, but mine's come up okay. Um, we just type in the password admin. Uh, and there you go. So you can see now that the, the on the home page there, it's showing that the the two panels are connecting. It looks like they've not actually connected yet, so I'm just going to wait for that to do that. Okay, I'm just going to log into the second one just to see if that one's growing the connection. 68.1.201, so the second one's on 201. We should be able to log into both at the same time. There we go. In fact, that one's working better. So that's now showing that it is in a bridge mode. And if you look a bit further down, uh, you've got the, on the screen there, you've got um, that it's connected to the app one, which is the first one, and it's linked. And at the moment, we've just got four decibels of connection speed, but you can see that's beginning to improve as the, uh, as the panels find each other. The third thing that's important is there at the bottom, you've got the connection speed, 120 me megabits per second. Uh, Usually speaking, for our two megapixel cameras, you're probably looking at somewhere around, I don't know, somewhere between 10 and 20 megabits per second per camera. So that's plenty, even with it not really properly set up and, and, and pairing yet. Um, there's still enough data there for you to be able to get an image across those bridges. Uh, but the key thing here is that you can see that on uh, the 201 selection, when we logged into 201, you can see that they are talking and that's showing that the system is up and running. The graph here then over time will improve, you'll get sort of faster data rates um, and eventually that will settle down. So now that's up and running and the bridges are talking to each other, um, essentially what we've done is just proven that the system's working on our, in our controlled environment, so whether that's on your kitchen table or in your study. Uh, we can now go and start to install the items in their various locations. Uh, before we do that, the final little thing, um, so we've got, a, for demo purposes only, we've got a router here. Uh, on the back of your router, obviously yours will be connected up to your internet connection, so it'll have some cables around here and a power in. Um, but in order for us to get this set up on our network, we'll then just need to disconnect from the computer and then pop it into one of the ports on the back of the Wi-Fi router, so whichever one's free. And once you do that, you'll be able to connect to the camera um, and go through the camera setup so that you can connect to it either from your phone uh, from your laptop or your PC. Thanks very much for watching today and uh, good luck with your setup.